What does the Ferrari 458, the Lamborghini Huracan, and the McLaren 720S all have in common? They're all fast as hell. And they're also all hella expensive, which is, well, not ideal. But what if I told you that there are cars out there that cost way less than any of those supercars that will destroy those $200,000 machines on the track? I'm Garrett, this is Idealist, and it's showtime. So, supercars. We're talking exotics, Lambos, Raris, you name it. They're all fast, but there's really no set standard for what makes a supercar, um, super. Which makes it hard to say what makes something faster than a supercar. So, yes, while none of these cars are gonna gap a Bugatti, they're all really fast. Like, sub 4 second 0 to 60 fast, or destroys on track days fast. And most importantly, they are much, much cheaper. Because if there's one thing that everyone can agree on, it's that supercars come with super prices. And as always, I've got links to all the cars featured on this list, thanks to Auto Tempest, down in the description below. Let's get into it. BMW 335i. If you want a car that needs just a little bit of work to be super car fast, the 335 is the ideal car to buy. First off, they're cheap. You can find them every day for like less than 10 grand. Like this one for 7,500 bucks. And don't you worry about the 100,000 miles on the ticker because you want to ruin it anyway but in like a good way, like a totally awesome way. Because with the money you'll save, you can absolutely build that Beamer into a supercar slayer. With a big old turbo, a dyno tune, and an intercooler upgrade, you're good to go. There are people out there right now running these things in the low tens, which will destroy most Ferraris, and they all spent less than 20K total on their build. Now, I won't lie to you, working on a BMW is an acquired taste, like, I don't know, Vegemite. And if you aren't prepared, it will leave a horrible, horrible taste in your mouth, just like Vegemite. Oh my gosh, how do you guys eat that stuff? And let's be honest, they do need a lot of work, but there's no free rides, right? You either gotta put in the work or put in the dollars. The good news is there are plenty of options that are still relatively cheap, very fast, and actually reliable, like maybe something with a Honda engine. Now, before we get to our next Cheap Slayer, we need your help. See, we have another channel, Ideal Money, where we're trying to get 100,000 subscribers. So, if you like money and wanna learn the ideal ways to make it easily to support your car habit, well, either click up here or down in the description to subscribe. It's completely free, and we post multiple times a week, so let's get rich together. Subscribe below, and thanks for your help and all your support. Now back to Cheap Slayers, baby. Ariel Adam. It's made by Ariel, not the Little Mermaid, and it's called the Atom, and it's a face-destroying adult go-kart. The V8-powered modern Atoms are closer to hypercars than anything else, but you can also get one with a turbocharged four-banger right from the Civic Type R. And even the slow Atom still boasts an incredible 2.8 second zero to 60, which is a hair faster than even the insane Lamborghini Huracan Evo for less than an eighth of the price. Yeah, you heard that right. One of the most fun cars you could possibly buy, assuming you never need to carry anything more than an extra pair of shoes, will cost you less than 40K. So there you have a car with a Honda engine, but how about one with a Toyota engine? Wait, th this Toyota doesn't have a Toyota engine? Oh yeah, right. GR Supra. Toyota finally made all our dreams come true because the new GR Supra has a manual option. And not only that, but it is proper fast. I mean. BMW made it, and they aren't exactly known for making slow cars, right? Bruh. The newest GR Supras can do a sub four second zero to 60 sprint, as well as go hard on the track. Just check out Brad and Trav ripping one up right here. And they can be had for about $55,000 for the shift it yourself version. And yes, I'd rather have a Mark IV too, but a clean turbo Mark IV basically costs like a hundred grand, and that's before any modifications. And why would you buy a Mark IV when you could buy a new GR Supra, dump a couple grand of aftermarket goodies, and still pay way less than that? But you know what? We can get cheaper and way more comfortable than a Supra. Maybe something with a Corvette motor. This one is one of the best sleepers you can buy. Cadillac CTS-V. The Cadillac CTS-V is a super plush, four-door, mean Detroit muscle machine. And it's got a big honkin' American V8 under the hood. It is capable of touching over 180 miles per hour, and it'll hit 60 in 3.7 seconds. 
This thing shook the German car scene when it completed the Nürburgring in under eight minutes, dethroning the E92 M3 in the four-door category. Now, if you are gonna get one, you can save money by buying the first gen, but to be super car fast, you'll need a second gen, like this one for about 30K. Now that's a low, low price for a car that will beat a Ferrari right off the line. The Caddy didn't get to hold that four-door record for long though, because Porsche wanted that number one spot, and their Panamera Turbo came for the heavyweight title. Porsche Panamera Turbo. Do you want a fast Porsche, but you're also the designated driver in your friend group? Get into a Porsche Panamera Turbo, which to some isn't very pretty. I think it's kind of cool, but it is fast enough to honor the badge and stand toe to toe on the racetrack with a Lambo. So which one fits your life better? A two door cramped Ferrari or a Porsche that comfortably fits the whole squad and costs like $150,000 less? If a plush four door car like the Panamera or the CTSV is just a little too rich for your taste, Let's bring it back to basics with a real American hero. And this is probably the cheapest supercar killer you can get. C5 Corvette. In the late 90s, Furbies were all over store shelves, Tamagotchis were on everyone's keychain, and Pokemon dominated the culture. And Chevy updated their aging Corvette platform, and they released the C5. Most importantly, they put the legendary 5.7 liter LS1 V8 under the hood, which I'm just gonna say is maybe one of the best American engines ever produced. There's a reason people are sticking them in everything. And the C5, well, it's already got one. In stock form, a base C5 does zero to 60 in a touch over four seconds, which means all you need is a little aftermarket fairy dust and a pair of fresh white new balances and you will be in supercar territory. Seriously, if you are interested in hitting a thousand horsepower, the C5 is probably one of the cheaper and more straightforward ways to do it. And trust me, it's way cheaper than a LaFerrari. Here's one listed for 15K. But if you hop on Ideal Car Strategies via the link down below and learn the ins and outs of negotiating and car buying strategy, you know you could pay even less. But if a Corvette just doesn't do it for you, why not just go buy a straight up race car? Formula Mazda. This entry is for those of you who actually wanna put your money where your mouth is or for those of you who have been watching a little too much Drive to Survive. Now, there are a ton of options for buying a race car just to go fast. Even a slow race car could walk a bunch of supercars in the quarter mile. But if you want my advice, buy a Formula Mazda car. Straight up, it's one of the cheapest ways to experience Formula racing. And yeah, it's not quite like the junior Formula cars like Lando, Lewis, or Leclerc came up racing, but this thing still goes fast. And you're here to go fast, right? We're talking an open wheel racer with the legendary Mazda rotary Wankel engine in a car that weighs like maybe 1500 pounds. And it can go zero to 60 in under four seconds, in addition to out cornering everything else on this list. Because you know, it's a purpose built race car and that's what it's meant to be good at. You can get into one for cheap too. Older Formula Mazdas start around 20K or spend 35K when you're ready for a pro level car when you wanna get competitive. But okay, okay, you got me. A race car isn't super practical. You'd have to like trailer it out to the track or somehow make it street legal. And there's no room for luggage. So instead, why not get something that has four doors, every creature comfort you could want, and is one of the most stunningly gorgeous cars ever built. Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. Now I know we've been stretching the definition of cheap here, but if you want cheap and nothing else, just go get an Ariel Atom or build out your own 335i. Those things are seriously sick. But if you want a gorgeous car that straddles the line between automobile and modern art, and that's also hella fast, grab an Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. Here's one for only 40 grand. Not only will this car turn more heads than pretty much any supercar, it straight up has a supercar twin turbo V6 under the hood courtesy of Ferrari. And it crushed the ring with a time of seven and a half minutes. Now, it might be hard to understand just how fast that is without anything to compare it to. So let's pick a really fast car like Zonda F. If the Zonda and the Alpha started at the Nürburgring at the same time, the Alpha would cross the line before the Zonda. That's how fast it is. Plus, a Zonda F will set you back like a million dollars. The Julia is literally like 4% of that price. That's like a 96% off, hell yeah. Well, there you have it, a list of supercar slayers. Which one do you want the most? Let me know down in the comments below. As for me, honestly, I really want that GR Supra. That B58 really is a modern 2J. This has been Ideal. And if this is your first time on the channel, why not give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so you can be the first to know when new videos like this one come out. And as long as you're here, why not give either of these videos a watch? As always, I'm Garrett, 
This is Idealist, and whatever sleeper you're slaying supercars in, just remember to keep on living that ideal lifestyle.